Carl, a lot of people are absolutely fascinated to find out how you met uh, Suzanne, your girlfriend of how long? Uh, ages. Yeah. Um, and they just they they can't comprehend how. Well, I suppose that there's any woman out there. Well, there's someone for everyone, isn't there? Yeah. That's always my my thing, and it's reassuring. I think you know we've chatted about the face transplants and that. You know, there's a face for everyone. It's philosophy, isn't it? It's, yeah. I mean, it's really unbelievable. No, there is someone for everyone, no matter what what yeah. condition you're in or whatever. Yeah. Because um, there's a I read on the email someone emailed in an old Chinese proverb. Um, it's something about everything, no matter what it is, has got one talent. And that's the same way in a relationship, isn't it? That everyone, you know, there's always someone out there. And that. I like the Chinese. There's another Chinese proverb that I learned on, on an email. Go on. Um, he who cuts the wood up warms himself twice. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. And then someone sent in that one about um, too many... Chinese cooks spoil the broth. Why, well, why is, well, that's, I don't, know, I, don't know, I don't know who slipped the word Chinese in there, but I heard it was too many cooks. Well, it was all, it was just all sort of Chinese proverbs and that. One of my favourite on the same subject is um, a camel is a horse designed by committee. What do you mean? Well, it, I mean, it's having a go at the camel and it shouldn't, but, but it's just, you know, it's just, it's just a metaphor. And if you wanted to design a horse and you had that vision, but you let you let twelve people in a room have their say. It wouldn't come out as you wanted it to do, and it wouldn't be as good. A vision is more perfect than committee, because everyone having their say, it becomes anodyne, it becomes compromised. Whereas the best things you can do is have an idea and have a vision and auteur that. Rick, can I just say now? I can tell from his look that he's thinking which committee designed the camel. <laughs> well, I'd just say, I'd say, who? Why would you request the ump bit? Because that's just going to get in the way, isn't it? I, this is, it? I mean, I've always, I've always said that about a lot of animals. It's like we, we've doubled up on a lot of them. We've chatted about elephants and mammoths, one or the other. <laughs> and that's the same with, with a camel. I'd have that up there as what, what they're doing. They were good years ago in the Jesus times and that. Don't need them now. You know what I mean? We've moved on. <laughs> well, not people who use camels to cross deserts. What other, I'm going to throw some animals at you, and you tell how, how, how you'd have improved them if you'd have been designing them, OK? Mm -hmm. The octopus. So I, I can now go back, I can look at them and go, what are they doing? And wh wh where have they gone wrong? What's up with you? Wh wh how could you improve it? Like, the camel, you go lose the arm. I'd probably, I'd probably give it a bit more of a body. <laughs> Cut down on the arms. Um, and, and give it some bones. Because I don't understand all this. It getting in a jar is is good. When does it want to get in a jar? It says. Well, it only wants to get in a jar according to your stories. No, but there's something that says it can get in a jar because it hasn't got any bones. But you... I don't know why it want to do that in the first place. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I can't even begin to answer that. Once again, you've you've said you claimed that you've read that they like to get in jars. I mean, how do they know that octopus like to get in jars? Oh God, I love it. You can improve on an octopus. Millions and millions of years of evolution, making it perfect for its surroundings. OK, another animal for you then, Carl. Um, uh, giraffe? Um, what, what are they adding to, to the world? What are they doing? Well, it's not about what they add to the world, no, but is I it? Thought, but I thought that's what everything's about. It's about things are here for a reason. A lot the, the, the reason they're here is because they didn't die. That's it. No, but there seem to be a lot of animals that are like... Do you it's think there's a lot of cheating? Is that what you're saying? There's I'm just a lot saying of doubling there just seems up. to be a lot of doubling up. Yeah, so and you want, you want, you, you do, you'd get it down to like eight animals that represented all of so them. Okay, who would get in your, in your team? You can choose no, eight well, this animals. Is, this is what I'm saying. If I was Noah, I mm. would have gone like, hang on a minute. With, I've just seen something that looks a bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> Let it drown <laughs> and have a clear out. <laughs> but he didn't. He was messing about saving everything. He was instructed by God to save everything, yeah. to be fair to him. Yeah, but if he's been given that job, for me, he's sort of manager of that job. So you, be, so you believe with Noah management. as well? You, well believe, you believe Noah happened as well, and he built a boat big enough to, to cage two of every species? You actually believe that as fact, dear? Well, it's, it's out there in book form. Um, Brilliant. Uh, all right. We haven't answered the question that we started with. How did you meet Suzanne? Just that work. Thanks. <laughs>